Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a photograph of something like this kind of the other day. It's not that we're not there yet, but I think we're going to get there. And then he sent me a video that's not done in English, and the guy goes, the person who's doing it, do a good job. I finally caught on. I'm actually going to change this. I'm using somebody else's file. I'm going to change it to my page size. That just kind of bugged me. But anyway, let's, I guess that should be 28. It's using artistic media tool, the part I've never used, which is the spray tool. So if you, if you draw a shape and I'm going to draw like an oval, I'm going to fill it in with black and make no outline. And then I'm going to go to the artistic media tool and I've never used the spray option. So right here, we can go add to the spray list. And then you need to go right here to your option and clear the round one I had and click on the other one and put add and it's okay. And then when you draw a line, you're gonna draw a line with those ovals. So let's see what it looks like when we do a circle and we get the artistic media tool. And like most artistic media tools, you have to click on it and then jump up the size one or the other. And I learned a lot watching this guy's video because now we can change the amount or images per dab and do a, there's a lot you can do with this. But what I really like about this is that now we can select it all. Let's get rid of that one. <clears throat> and you see they're all connected by the artistic media tool and you can see the circles. If we select it all and go up to object and break the artistic media apart, then we can get rid of that oval. And these are still grouped together, but we can grab them all and now grab the distort tool and go to the distort tool, pick this twister distortion and just do that right there. I don't even know what I did. Because it says, would you like to continue? The distort is extremely complex. It's taken several minutes to calculate, but it does it that quick. Now, <clears throat> there's. I'm going to learn a lot about this and uh, more and more. So you can distort it and make it look like this. Let's back up here and get it where we were kind of even. So let's let's actually go. Well, we can't go back to artistic media until we actually have too many. Let's just start over. And bear with me, I've only done this one time. So I'm going to draw an ellipse. I'm going to get the artistic media tool. And I'm going to click on it. And like all of them, you have to change it. Now we got too many, so we're going to go over here and take some of them away. No, so that's actually adding to it. So let's take some of them away. Some of the brush strokes. And get them further apart. And I need to kind of get them where they're, that top one's kind of touching. Let me zoom in here a little bit. And you get back to the artistic media tool. And, well, I guess we have to actually click on it with the artistic media tool and get this. And let's take a few more away, but we want those two center dots to be on top of each other. That might be pretty good. One more. All right, we'll call that good. Then what we want to do is go to object, select it all, go to object and break the artistic media part. We get rid of that circle again. <clears throat> now we can click on it, get the distort tool and use the twister distortion and just do that right there. And, and the, the oval isn't working as good as the, the um, let's make them a little longer. And I clicked it probably too much. Look at that. Kind of a twister effect. Um, and it, it's not as good as the first one, but then all I did was, let's actually, let's make this thing quite a bit bigger to get these things further apart. And in the in the future, I'm going to do a little better job. I'm not. I'm just trying to convey to this man what he can do. And then I would go and um, ungroup them, 
and then you could go and individually color them. And it's just kind of a random deal. We make that one blue. Whoop. Make that one red. Make the next one yellow. I don't know of another tool. And you could draw this by hand and, and get kind of the same effect. Uh, but it's kind of fun to play around with new tool and new ideas and see what it's going to look like. Now, with this said, we'll probably need to make it a different color than that. You've done, like, these colored ones. I guarantee if we play around with it and do this, if we group it together for a second and hit P and put it in the center of the page, bring in some crosshairs and put P, and then ungroup it, we won't have to color them all. Let me zoom in here. Let's click on it and ungroup it now. And let's take our, let's just try the virtual segment delete key and delete the ones that are like that. Let's make that other one uh, a different color. We'll make that black one, let's make it red. And then select them all again and control D and then control or control G to group them together and control D to duplicate it. Move the center of the rotation to the center of your page. Make sure it is there. And then just rotate this around. Eh, maybe not perfectly working because that other one is thicker. But that looks pretty good. And then control D, control D. Yeah, that doesn't look bad if I would have picked some other colors. So this might not have helped you too much, but it is pretty neat that you can use artistic media um, stroke that I've never used before uh, called the paint. Let's, use, let's do a three-point line, two-point, three-point line, grab the artistic media tool, and we got it on the spray, so it ought to be just check on it. It ought to do those ovals. That's pretty good. I don't know what else you could, you, you could use the blend tool or something like that, but you could still change the amount. Be like the blend tool. Pretty cool. I haven't quite figured out everything yet. You can add to the spray list, uh, offset. This is pretty cool. You could use offset and give you an irregular pattern. Anyway, so just start playing around with that. And I hope in the future I'll, I'll make a few more. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.